video. But this video, we do, we're cooking crab boils today, baby. So hold on to your seat tight. It's about to go down. And when I say it's about to go down, I promise you, you are going to go to the store and get all these ingredients so you can make them yourself. You bet? Check me, watch this thing. So for today's ingredients, of course, we got the crab legs. These are your queen crab legs, about three pounds from Publix, my local grocery store. It's snow crab legs. So we got the crab legs, y'all. We got the Old Bay. You can't do a crab boy without the Old Bay, you feel me? We got, so this right here, we got an orange. We got a lime. This is the Old Bay. I just portioned it out on the little ramekin cup. This lemon pepper, Zataraz crab boil. It's two bags in here. We're gonna dump both of them in there because we want we like the flavor. Got a little bit of thyme, rosemary dried. I probably only use the rosemary. Um, I got a whole onion. You'll see what I'm doing with that. I got some liquid smoke, and I got four seven-ounce Corona beers, which is about to go in the water. I got the water on the stove here already. I got one gallon of water in here, and I put a little bit of red pepper flake in it because I wanted it a little spicy. So we got the crab water started. It got a little bit of parsley, I mean a little bit of red pepper flakes in there. And we got all the ingredients over here. And what we're gonna do is we're about to go ahead and start dumping everything into the water, make this thing nice and right, you feel me? I'll be right back. So first thing first, we gotta get everything in the water, boiling hot, right? So right now I got a gallon of water on the stove. It's, the temperature is set on uh, medium high heat to get that water nice and, and ready. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up all these beers and put them inside the water. So let's pop the top on. Four ounces of, of beer. Go ahead, get rid of these. Now what we gotta do is we gotta cut up the, the onion, the orange, the lime. Cause that's going in the water too, y'all. So I got my whole lime. Cut that lime up. Put that thing in the water. Actually, I'm only gonna use a half. Got my orange. Put that whole orange in that thing. And lastly, we're going to cut up the onion. I don't need the whole onion. We're going to cut up half. So, <laughs> so um, I probably shouldn't have put the hot pepper in the water now because I think the hot pepper is flowing in the air. <laughs> it got me coughing. <laughs> So the last thing I want to add to the water before I put the uh, crab legs in there, I'm going to add me some liquid smoke. It's something about liquid smoke, but boy, oh my gosh, it just elevates it, everything. I don't know, I guess because we eat with our nose and our eyes, and this man elevates everything. So add just a drop, a little bit go a long way. Boom. Just like that, straight like that. Oh, I lied. I'm gonna add some rosemary to it too. Man, I'm telling you, I'm adding everything but the kitchen sink in this thing, man. Just like a teaspoon, just a little teaspoon. It's dry, so it's very powerful. With dry seasonings. Ooh! Oh, well, that spice is getting in my nose. <laughs> Shoot! Yeah, I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that at all. Whew. Yeah, but dry seasonings, they have a lot of flavor in them. So boiling them, you're gonna get all of them out. And, oh yeah, the last thing before I put the crab legs in there is gonna be the crab boil. All flavor right here, baby. All flavor. It comes with, this one came with one bag. And we're gonna rock with it. Straight like that, in the water, stuck out. That's it. So we're gonna let that water come up to a boil. Gosh. <laughs> I need to open the window. All right. Don't put hot peppers in the boil water because, <coughs> yeah, don't do that. I won't do it no more. I promise I won't. But we're gonna let this water come up to a boil 
And then we're gonna put the uh, crab legs in there. Yeah. Once it's all come up to a boil, I'm gonna scoop out the onions, the oranges, the lime, and I'm gonna leave the season bag in there. And then I'm gonna put the crab legs in. I just don't wanna overcrowd the water, you know. But other than that, I normally leave all the fruits and vegetables in the water with the crab legs, but this time I'm gonna do a little bit different. Yeah, I always do it different. <laughs> Alright YouTube, what I did is I waited about three minutes <laughs> and the water came to a boil. I'm gonna give y'all a close up of what it looked like. That thing boiling and that thing is almost ready. I'm gonna let it come to a bigger boil and I'm gonna put the crab legs in. But yeah, y'all hold tight, hold your horses, stay right there, I'll be right back. And we're back YouTube. We're about to go ahead and pull out the vegetables and the uh, fruits out of this water. Get them out of that bath, that hot sauna bath, and we're gonna put it in this bowl right here. But like I said, we're leaving the seasoning bag in there. That's how you know it got everything out. Look at that. Everything out of there. Got all the juices in the water now. So <coughs> when I take all of these out, I'm still coughing because it's that going hot pepper. Do not put hot peppers. Do not use any hot seasoning when you cook it. Don't. Use hot stuff after you're done cooking. You'll thank me later. Sheesh. So a quick way to do that would have been to use like a colander or something, but I'm lazy and I have it right here. It's actually like two feet away from me. But use a colander to get all the stuff out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the bag of crab legs ready to go in the water. So let's go ahead and drop these crab things inside this water. Give them this nice hot sauna bath. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Story time, YouTube. So, there I was, 10 years ago, maybe. Yeah, about 10 years ago. Cooking crab legs my first time. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Can't wait. In my first, my brand new house, just bought my new house. I'm like, I'm on my grown man stuff, right? I'm like, babe, we gonna make some crab legs tonight, all right? So we go to the store, we get the crab legs. I'm like, man, I used to cook and I can make some crab legs. That's too easy, right? So I'm cooking the crab legs. I got the boil and everything all right, nice and right. You know what I'm saying? I put my crab legs in the junk. I left my crab legs in the junk for like 12, 15, 20 minutes. Bruh, I'm telling you, I was mad because them joints are so overcooked, they were nasty. <laughs> when I tell you, your crab legs are already cooked. They don't need to be cooked again. If they weren't, they were cooked. So, it only take until the water comes up to a slight boil again. When that water come back up to a slight boil, your crab legs are done. So don't overcook your crab legs. And we're back. But guess what guys, brother heard and messed up. I done dropped the ball. I forgot to add everything else in the daggone recipe. Forgot to do the potatoes, forgot to do the shrimp, forgot to do the sausage, and guess what's done? The crab legs are done. So now I gotta pull the crab legs out and put them in a pan to get ready to get everything else to go with it ready. So what we're gonna do, there's still savior that can happen with these crab legs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out, put them in a pan, put them in an oven safe pan, put them in the oven on 200 degrees. Leave them in the oven. Yo, don't leave them in the oven too long. Well, we're gonna put them in the oven for 200 degrees and hopefully everything will be done by within the next 20 minutes, and it should. So, stand by. So my goal with this is to make sure that when I put these crab legs in this pan and put them in the oven, that they don't, the meat doesn't dry out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the crab legs in it and then I'm gonna baste the bottom of the pan with some of this juice here. And then we're gonna cover it up with some aluminum foil, put them in, in the oven. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna save it. Brother, her saves the day. Let's go. OK, 
Okay, YouTube, we are going to do our shrimp. We're going to fry the shrimp. Uh, I was going to do butterfly shrimp, but I ain't got time for all that. I'm trying, I don't want my, my crab legs to be messed up. So we're just going to, we're going to peel and devein the shrimp. Yeah, we're going to peel and devein the shrimp. And then we're going to batter it up and with a little bit of flour, a little bit of starch, and fry them up real good. First things first, get your oil ready. Get it nice and hot while you're prepping your shrimp. So I got the pan on with some oil in it already. And I got my uh, heat on medium high. All right, so here's the shrimp that I got from the supermarket. Like I said, we're gonna peel and devein these shrimp. We're gonna peel and devein the shrimp. You take the tail, you wiggle the tail in, the last section of the tail. You wiggle this until it breaks. This part right here is gonna break. You see, it just broke. Both sides. Now, you're gonna take the middle of your shrimp and split it apart. From there, boom. Now, you just pull the skin off. Boom, easy. All right? Now that's how you take off the shrimps. And then you have, you might have little extras, little, 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 little extras, you pull that off. Boom, just like that, straight like that. All right, so I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, speed you through it. So, here we go. So if you wanted to get the whole shrimp and the tail off, you would pinch the bottom of this. And like I said, you still do the same thing with the legs. You would pinch the bottom and it fall out. But some of them are already deveined and it's open right here. So when you pinch it, it, uh, it all of this, will, all the meat in the tail will come out and all the skin will fall off with it. All right, family, we're about to go ahead and devein the shrimp because we already peeled it. So we're going to devein the shrimp right here, right now. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. Real quick and simple, real easy. And we're going to clean out the poop. Yeah, the poop. I said it, the poop. We're going to clean the poop. So you take the shrimp, lay it flat, put palm. You palm the shrimp. You put your palm over the shrimp and you cut. And you cut right down the middle of the shrimp. You cut right down here. That's where the um, poop vein is. Not all the way, not too deep. And as you can see, the poop came right out as I, I cut it on the right spot. Some people don't care about that. I do. I actually cut this a little too deep. You don't need to cut that deep. Now, if I was butterfly shrimp, this would be perfect for butterfly shrimp. But I'm not, I don't need to cut that deep no more. So let me show you with this one. Boom, now, there goes the stuff. So you wanna get that out of there. Best way to do that, rinse it out. We just rinse it out. So, I'm gonna speed you through these and put them all in a bowl and I'm gonna rinse them out all at the same time. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just cut them right now and then rinse them out once I'm done cutting.
All right, family, we about to go ahead and get the, the shrimp ready for frying. And uh, watch this. So dry shrimp is your friend. So we're going to pat these dry and, um, and get them ready for the fry. So now we about to add some of the seasonings and stuff to the scrimps. For this ingredient for the uh, fried shrimp, I'm using a teaspoon of starch and probably like a, a quarter cup of this to coat the flour, coat the uh, shrimp in. So to get the seasoning to stick to the shrimp, I'm gonna add one, uh, I'm gonna get some egg wash. All right, so your egg wash, one egg, a little bit of water, that's it. And we're about to do that right here, right now. Perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, obey to the shrimp before I put it in the egg wash. I lied. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it in the egg wash. Not the whole thing. The reason why I'm not dipping the whole shrimp in the egg wash is we wanna be able to see the tail. Cause that's tail, we're not gonna eat that. You see this right here? This is sharp. You can hurt yourself if you eat that. Don't eat that. So only dip in the body of the shrimp in there. All right, and then we're gonna toss it in the, in the uh, flour. We're gonna do that to all of them, all 10. to get the shrimp we got the shrimp ready for the grease we put that thing in the grease and uh fry them up real quick so tonight this is gonna be shrimp and crab legs is to get I'm not doing no I'm not listen check me out I forgot to do the potatoes I'm not doing the potatoes it's gonna take too long so I got the shrimp ready I got the crab legs ready to come out, uh, come out the oven and we about to season them up make them look real pretty you feel me the, the way I do my crab legs is you don't need you don't really need to add butter to them uh, because most of the season gonna be on the shell and then when you take the, the crab meat out of the, the crab leg season gonna be on your fingers mm, mm, mm. <laughs> side joke never mind Anyway, so I know a lot of um, makeup artists or whatever, and their name has M-U-A at the end. So when I first started live streaming, I would see it, and I'd be like, mwah. Like, such and such, mwah. <laughs> it's not mwah, it's makeup artists. All right, so, y'all, I really hope I didn't leave these in the oven too long, because that pan was really, really hot. I needed to hold something. Normally, 200 degrees, well, actually 180. It's not too hard, hot to handle, but... We about to see some uh, some magic real quick. You gonna need your obey. This is the obey. You wanna use some melted butter, parsley, garlic. That's the way I like mine. Everything is optional. Whatever you do, it's all up to you. But the way I like mine, straight like that. 
listen, if you um, are worried about watching calories and stuff like that, this recipe ain't for you. Because <laughs> this whole, a whole, I'm about to put pretty much a whole stick of butter on the outside of these crab legs. We're going to melt that butter up. All right, it's butter time, baby. You going to get your butter ready? I need to empty out this water. Obey is going on the outside of the crab legs, so you can be, you can be a little um, generous. All right, all right. And lastly, we're gonna put some parsley on that thing. And y'all, that's it. Look at that. That's it, y'all. So I'm hungry and I gotta get to the crab legs before they get cold. Cause don't might like cold food, all right? But thank y'all so much for wa watching. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that like button in the face and smash that bell when you subscribe. Cause I know you already subscribed. Let's get it, let's go. We on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We are on the road to 4,000 watch hours, which is monetization for your boy, Brother Herb. Support, support, support. Love y'all. Peace. Yeah, my beautiful wife is about to taste test the shrimp. And then uh, we're going to see what, what she think about it. This tastes better than a lot of restaurant shrimp. I've had some horrible fried shrimp that don't have no flavor at restaurants. This is like, this is really good. It's really flavorful. And it got like a hint of spicy to it. Mm -hmm. You have anything to dip it in? <laughs> they don't even need to be good than anything for real. Don't worry about it. Good. good thank you so Right.